Hey everyone, this is Dan. Last Friday, March tenth, two thousand and twenty-three, Silicon Valley Bank was shut down by bank regulators because the bank suffered great losses after selling the long-term bonds to raise cash. The reason for SVB's great losses was because the Federal Reserve banks raised the Fed funds rate by four percent in the last twelve months, causing the other interest rates to go up as well. The long-term bonds owned by SVB were generating interest at rates much lower than the current interest rates. Therefore, when SVB sold these bonds, they had to sell them at great discounts, incurring losses to the bank. As of December thirty-first, two thousand and twenty-two, SVB reported a negative one point nine one one billion dollars in unrealized losses, known as accumulated other comprehensive income. The total equity capital of SVB was reported as sixteen point two nine five billion dollars. Therefore, the AOCI to TEC minus AOCI ratio of SVB as of December thirty first was negative ten point five percent. Let's call this ratio the A over T ratio. An article from Market Watch quoted data from FactSet. Listing the following banks with at least ten billion dollars of assets each, and have very negative A over T ratios. All the banks on this list have A over T ratios that are worse than the negative ten point five percent reported by Silicon Valley Bank. What happened to SVB, however, will not happen to the other banks, unless the customers of the banks start to withdraw vast amounts of money. Which might force the banks to sell assets at great losses. Let's hope we don't see a lot of bank failures in the next few weeks.